news. Let's cross over to Nakuru County, where two directors of the Nakuru War Memorial Hospital to senior officials at the Ministry of Lands and a surveyor have been charged with fraud and forgery. The five were arrested on Friday by the DCI after concluding the investigations into alleged fraudulent extension of a lease for the hospital by a father 50 years. Appearing before Chief Magistrate Elizabeth Juma, the five denied all the 12 charges and were released on bail as the directors accused the county government of Nakuru of being in contempt of court. Ken Gashuhi reports. Medics and staff of Nakuru War Memorial Hospital arrived at the Nakuru Law Courts in solidarity with their two directors who have been in police custody since Friday. The two directors, Dr. Simon Mwangi and Roger Jocelyn, appeared before Chief Magistrate Elizabeth Juma and were charged alongside two senior officials from the Ministry of Lands, Peter Nzuki and Stephen Kihenjo and Surveyor Kipkemboi Marindich. The five were jointly charged that on 7th April 2021 at the Ministry of Lands, they procured the extension of lease for 50 years in respect to parcel number Nakuru Municipality Block 11 stroke 107, which led to issuance of a certificate of lease to Nakuru War Memorial Hospital Limited, a private company. Municipality Block 1107, that led to issuance of certificate of lease to Nakuru War Memorial Hospital Limited. The first accused, Dr. Dr. Mongi, Jocelyn and Kipkemboi were separately charged with 11 other counts including forgery of signature of Robert Otiti, an official at the Ministry of Lands Rift Valley Provincial Surveyor's Office, on the proposed extension of lease. They faced a similar charge of falsifying the signatures of Anthony Ireri, an official at the Ministry of Lands, that of urban planner James Michoma, and that of Willie Kipkemboi on various documents which they uttered as genuine documents for processing of the lease. Reporting that the same document originated from the Ministry of Land, Provincial Surveyor's Office, Rift Valley, and signed by Robert Otiti, a fact that you knew to be false or untrue. Simon, is it true or not true? Not guilty at all. Rogers, Jocelyn, not guilty. Kipkemoy, Mandich, not guilty. They pleaded not guilty to all the 12 counts as their lawyers applied for their release on a bond, a prayer that was granted by the court. The first, second and third accused were faced with uh, more offenses are admitted to bond of Kenyan shillings, uh, 2 million plus one Kenyan surety of similar amount. Alternative cash bail is 1 million. For the fourth and fifth accused persons, they are admitted to bond of Kenya shillings half a million plus one Kenyan surety. A similar amount of tonnage of cash bill is 300,000. The county government of Nakuru has already deployed county Ascaris to the hospital, with the director's lawyer Lawrence Karanja warning that they will sue the county for contempt of court on earlier court orders. It's extremely uncouth for uh, the government to do that, that they have placed uh, the council Ascaris at the gate 24 7 from. Saturday, so that anybody going there must disclose what he's going to do. So if you say you are going to seek treatment, you are told they are not treating, so you are turned back. But there are already patients who are already admitted. There are quite a number of admitted patients who are going on with the treatment. The doctors are getting assessed, but the members of the public are not assessed. This will be mentioned on February 15th, and pre-trial hearings held on July 31st, August 5th, and August 7th, 2024. Ken Gashuhi, KTN News. The Ministry of Health and various stakeholders.